You know what, Ryan? What's up, Jeff? My favorite thing about Marvel vs. Capcom 3 turned out to be this song. There's a different version of it, a couple different versions of it in, in, in that one than this. Wait, then what's this if this is not it's Marvel like a... vs. Capcom 3? This is Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3! The Ultimate! So was the last one penultimate Marvel Capcom 3? Yep. It was. And now uh, we're here. You notice ever, people use the word penultimate a lot. Yeah. Like everyone found out what it meant. Yeah. And now everyone uses it. It's fun. It is fun. It's, it's you know, it's ultimate but longer. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't, like, at first you think, oh, it just means better than ultimate, but no. 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 Not, not at all. Quite. Uh, well, let's uh, dig into some of the new characters here in, in ultimate uh, MVC3. UMVC3, as insiders like to call it. That's right. Uh, do you have any sense of who exactly the new guys it's, it's, are in this? It's this top eight is up this, here. Is that top row there? So Nemesis, Firebrand, Strider, Phoenix Wright, Nova, Ghost Rider, Hawkeye. Wait. Where's, uh... There's Rocky Raccoon. Ra Rocket Raccoon, yeah. Oh, right there. Okay, there so is. maybe it's not that just that top row then. So it's some dudes. Um, I want to see Phoenix Wright. Okay. And I want to see Strider. Uh, any of this stuff changed as far as the... Like, I mean, this, is a, this the, is a totally different menu. You're, no, but I mean for the for the pairing and Frank for the team-up stuff. Frank West now? Hello, Frank West up in there. Let's see, let's see some Strider. Yeah, all right. And then Ladies' Choice for number three. I, I, want, I want to see Rocket Raccoon. All right. Fire twice, Claymore, Pendulum, shot front, shot instant shot. Uh, I guess I was, I was, what I was asking about was the uh, the assist type stuff for the for the team ups. Has that changed at all? I do not know. Hmm. Yeah, it's, there's been, you know, like people have been playing this game out at events and stuff, and and coming up with, uh, you know, some change lists and stuff. But it, it looks like Capcom just hasn't really been too interested in putting out just a full list of here's everything that's different. You know, they they want to leave some stuff for people to find out. Okay. Um, so I, I haven't. I have to admit, I haven't been following that stuff super closely. Oh. Let me make sure the controls are correct. You're using a stick here. I am. That is right. I'm just. I don't know. Just getting thrown. <laughs> I want to hear him finish that voice sample. Oh, also, I want to see an objection. <laughs> He's got to set that separate meter there of case files that I'm not filling up, but it looks like that's... Oh, yeah, 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 okay, that's, that is character specific, I see. Yeah. It seems like that's just a case of the character requiring some weird metagame shit. Maybe. Just doubling up there. How come you have control of the crazy robot? Animal army. Cause they're my bros. I thought you fought them. Not a rocket. Also not a rocket. That's a shrapnel trap. That's one of his moves. It's, it's, it's a claymore. He put down a claymore and it disappeared. Front towards enemy. This is the first I've seen of Rocket Raccoon or played of Rocket Raccoon. What do you know about Rocket Raccoon? I, he's a fucking weird, obscure Marvel character. Yeah. The Guardians of the Galaxy are nothing without. Whoa. Uh, yes, he, I believe, was formerly associated with the Guardians of the Galaxy, which is a pretty obscure ass team. Man, I wish obscure Marvel character. We're here to see this. <laughs> How does it feel? 
you know, kind of compared to to MVC3. You know, as someone who didn't get super deep in MVC3 and didn't really stick with it after uh, after release that much, it feels pretty similar. I mean, you know, it, it's very much, you know, at, at, the, at my level of play, it's very much about working your way up the tree, that kind of light, medium, heavy S, uh, which is, you know, becomes the launcher, and then getting up there for some air combos. Oh, wacky, wacky fun. Uh, I will say that Phoenix Riot is not uh, immediately obvious. Let's, uh, can, is, is there a move list? Can we pause and, and look yeah, at his so. stuff? Let's, I want to, I want to figure out, uh, uh, Phoenix Riot here. He's at the top. Was he? Yeah. Or wherever you were. Where am I? That, uh, oh, there he is. There we go. Slip up questioning. Air questioning. So he's got investigation mode, turnabout mode, and trial mode. All right. Air questioning. <laughs> Air questioning, dude. Step up, questioning, investigate, attack, and... Attack and S, okay. Discard, evidence, attack and S. Mode change, down, down, S. All right. So it seems like you probably need to go... So you see the, the icon next to those files yeah. changes. You're, invest you're in investigative mode. You found right. a piece of evidence. So I imagine you need to find three before you can... No, because the, the find evidence button seems to... Uh, uh, uh. Oh. oh, okay, I can do it once with each button. Oh, it's... Right. I just X-factored, so... <laughs> fucking galactic Phoenix Wright! Yeah. So, you know, it's basically th that the investigation stuff looks like it's sort of how you collect projectiles to use later. Like, you have to find the. But then what happens the stuff when you and change then throw mode? it? Yeah, that's a good question. Okay. Uh, what can we do now in trial, trial mode? mode. Point, just a With three more. pieces of evidence. Forward and heavy. Am, am I in trial mode? Yeah. No. I need to tag out. He's gonna die. Uh. How well did uh, MVC3 handle the the weird sized characters? Uh, like like Rocket Raccoon. I, fine. You know, Beautiful Joe is a small guy. Sure. Or, you know, they definitely had small guys. Um, and it's not that big of a deal. It's one of those things that's like really annoying if you haven't played enough of the game to deal with it. You know, like like sure. at, at first glance, it's like, oh, how do I even hit that guy? Like my high attacks are going right over him, and and that could be a little frustrating at the start. But you know, once you kind of knew what to expect out of those characters, it wasn't really that big of a deal. I enjoy that, uh... Yeah, there we go. Classic. That that Phoenix Wright has an incredibly unconventional fighting style. Yeah, so turnabout mode might be just active on part of a... I'm running out of time here, actually, too. Um, it might be that, that turnabout mode is a... Yeah. Bridge to the turnabout with three pieces of evidence. Forward and hard, down. Okay. It's a pretty good Phoenix Wright. Yeah. That's a pretty good polygonal Phoenix Wright. Yeah. I'm a little above average. I don't know. You know, I don't like to brag about it, but... Uh, I'm going to pick some new dudes. Okay, yeah. I won't lose. Not to get ready to brawl. Fight! Eat it, Orange Dante. Got that Orange Dante. Mango Sentinel. Normal. Welcome. 
Welcome to the world of Marvel vs. Alright, uh... The world's greatest heroes are all here. Let's Let's see what Nemesis is all about. Victory. Clothesline rocket, alright. And, uh, Doctor Strange. We haven't seen any uh, Ghost Rider yet, have we? No, let's just uh, let's get a little Ghost Rider. What color do you want? Uh, six colors. Six. Six. All right. Chain of Rebuttal. The White Ghost Rider. Let your fist do the talking. Sounds like the name of a racist country band. White Ghost Rider? Yeah. Yeah. Get ready to brawl. Fight! Whoa. Nemesis is kind of a big boy. Oh, he's Nemesis, dude. Yeah. Nemesis. Sure. Oh, he's hitting people with a rocket launcher. It's... I guess getting hit with a rocket launcher would probably still suck pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, God. That was kind of cool. Little rock rocket jump. Yeah. Oh, wow. Here we are kicking it Asgard style. Hey man, whatever you say. S such weird. These games are such a, a weird amalgamation of fan service for two completely unrelated things. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Like for kind of the like on both Marvel and Capcom side, like they they get their crowd pleasers, but they also go for some weird obscure shit as well. Well, that's the best the best way to handle stuff like this is to you know get your your obvious stuff in there. There's your must-haves, and, and then go obscure with a, a, a few things to you know that's how you win people over one fan at a time. You sure. know, you get those die-hard people that you know you're letting them know that you remember too that Rocket Raccoon existed, and uh, you know it's the stuff that gets those people excited. It's, and, you know, think about it this way. This may very well be the final appearance of Rad Spencer. <laughs> you, know, you don't think this version of, uh, of Rad Spencer survives for much longer? I don't, you know what? I don't know that any version of Rad, Sus or of Rad Spencer yeah. survives. What about Rad Suspenders? Rad Suspenders uh, always survive. Mostly rainbow colored, you know? Yeah. Sort of a Mork from Mork thing going on. Is he in here? Mork from Mork, yeah. Is he in Unlockable? Yeah. Only in... in the mango morph is the hard one. Breaks to get. out of the egg. And then for his super, Orson shows up. Orson's a dick. I know. Fight of your life. Guy's got a motorcycle, and he is a burning skeleton. Yeah. He has a magical, damned motorcycle. Fight! But the motorcycle is damned? Yeah, the motorcycle's magic, dude. I mean, I, magic, fine, but it's damned? Yeah. Why is the... Who would damn a motorcycle? It's evil. All right. Nicholas Cage? Oh, wow, are we going through the first level oh, of... Oh, yeah. That looks like a little... Ghouls and ghosts back there. Looks like it, doesn't it? Well, that's awesome. That's Look at that. Look, yeah. at that. Look at that. A little boat here. And then <laughs> little ghouls and ghosts happening back there. There's a suit of armor. Get that suit of armor! I'm looking Can't be running around in your underwear? Looking at my fire book. <laughs> well, it says here that you should be on fire. So, I don't know. So, ta-da. I'm a magician. Look at my cape. Doctor Strange is actually kind of a cool character, but man, is his costume dumb. Oh, down. You know who's a cool character? Ryu. I was gonna say, is it kind of weird seeing... Kind of your your core characters like Ryu in with all of these insane chuckleheads. It's like no, you've got I mean, you've got m basically like War of the Monsters happening here between Shuma Gorath and Nemesis, and then occasionally 
fucking Ryu shows up. He's like, I don't know, fireballs. I just throw fireball. But he throws bigger fireballs in these games. <laughs> sure, than... they amp him up some. Uh, it's it's just like some of these characters are clearly far more extreme in just basic concept. Yeah. Then I'm a karate man. Yeah. Hey, I know how to sh punch. I'm a, but fist. I am I am a magic karate man. Yeah. I'm a really good karate man. I'm the best karate man. Of all video games. But I, I'm not made out of fire. No. And I'm not... I don't own any sort of motorcycle, damned or otherwise. <laughs> I'm not some sort of... succubus lady. I don't even have a bionic arm. With any... No one lives in my arm. I just have one... I have two regular arms. My, my wife is not a part of my arm, a part of any... I don't even have a wife. I, say, is I have a bag. Is and I like married? to punch waterfalls. These are the things I do. <laughs> I carry this bag, set the bag down, fight, pick up the bag, walk away. It's pretty much the extent of my character. Yeah, pretty much, huh? <laughs> I guess... What is it? Whatever, he doesn't need anything more. That is an enduring... <laughs> archetype. I like how many H's there are in fight. <laughs> yeah. Fight! Oh. Yeah. Take that weird Japanese ghost lady. Your dark stalkers chick. Fucking ring girl. Green Wolverine. I uh, I got a dispensary card this week. Uh huh. So now we can go get some of that, get green, some of that green Wolverine. Wolverine. Yep. Damn. <laughs> so we'll lay you out. Does this game have a really big like seizure warning at the at the it, front it of it? It totally does. Yeah. I feel like more and more games have that as just a default. <laughs> like, look, man. I mean, every everything has it. I think part of the the legalese in every game manual says it now. Yeah. But then games that are a little extreme about it seem like they they say like, hey, man, just want to let you know. Like the last three or four games that I've played oh, with any seriousness God. have have had that warning in them. Heroes for hire. Settle that. Yeah. So Jeff, as far as you know, uh, like like you said, Capcom's not necessarily coming forward with. Specific details. You know, but it's, it's balance changes. They, they did change the, the way that the X Factor works to some extent, okay. I guess. Um, and oh, oh, jeez. That's why we can't have nice things. Yeah, bulk of you know, but the bulk of the changes are more characters. Yeah. Um, and you know, they're selling it at a less than full price, which is nice because this is the second one of these in less than a year. Yeah. That's kind of uh, it's kind of kind of messed up. But. You know, if you didn't buy the last one, then getting this one for 40 bucks is a pretty good deal. If you did buy the last one, I don't know what's tell you, man. I, I understand. If you're upset about it, that's... If you're upset about it, you probably should be. Yes. Because this stuff seems like it could have been DLC. So this this board in the background, this yeah. is a, a terrific touch. That's a, a great X-Men callback, except Mega Man is in there. Yeah. A bunch of Mega Man bosses from the looks of it. Um, no, that is lower right. Oh god! No. Looks like uh I got judged right there. Our our hood is down there. Who's our hood? Uh the you know the or no BB hood. BB hood, yeah. Sorry. Boletta. Check Jin, this stupid dog. Jin Sao Tome? I don't know who that is. Uh um that's um. It sounds like a, a dude. It is. It's uh. Is that the dude from Rival Schools? Oh, maybe. Oh, this stupid dog. Can't fight a dog, stupid nemesis. What's your problem? That dog has a sword. Right, not no more. So. so. 
Yeah, you know, a lot of the same systems from the previous game, you know, the, from TVC even, some of that advancing guard I've stuff. The <laughs> I'm not a uh, Jeff, if there was anything from MVC3 that you, you would have liked to have seen them uh, address. Um, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I came around on MVC3 late uh, in, in the process of reviewing it. Yeah. I actually spent... Oh, uh, shit! A large chunk of time really not liking that game. Uh-huh. And then it all kind of clicked for me, and, and I, I, got, I got to a point where I, I felt like I understood where it was coming from and started doing a lot better at it. Not not pro grade, you yeah. know, not 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 competitive uh, competition uh, style, but you felt But I felt like I had found I I found a way to make it work for me. Yeah. And uh, and that's cool. And then I, I just I, I wasn't really I don't know. I, I didn't really stick with it because it was it's cool. But it just wasn't vital. I'm just not enough of a fan of the Marvel stuff uh, at all to really get a, enough out of it and and the versus games have always been crazier than i typically like out of my fighting games in the first place so um you are fighting so, galactus right now yeah this is a neat idea but uh, you know we'll see if they change this at all in, in an obvious way but it's, it's a giant boss oh Fighting game bosses are tough. Damn it. Jeez. It's not blocking in a timely fashion. What's the uh, the level thing? The level at the bottom? Yeah. That's your know, super meter. Okay. Just snapped me out over and over again. Tired of losing a guy? Yeah, you did. No, I stopped Doctor Strange. I stopped all of Doctor Strange. He staggered. Oh, not that staggered. Oh, oh, oh. What do I got to do here? I forget. Block. Yeah. Earth KO. <laughs> it does look pretty bad back there. Yeah. Oh no. That's. Oh jeez. Take that, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Right. I think Galactus and Smoke are pretty much the same tier. They are totally. They're both god tier. Yeah. Um, interchangeable in both fictions. And you get an ending for getting to this point and stopping, which is kind of nice. Player points? Player what do you points. do with those? Uh, you buy stuff. Okay. Colors and stuff. Uh, you start with all this, with six colors already. I'm not sure hmm. what you end up picking up with that well, stuff. Well, I, I think we have a bunch of stuff unlocked here that does not yeah, this start is, off this is not the This is not the final retail version of the mm -hmm. game. So When's that coming? Uh, it is in a couple of weeks. That's pretty soon. Yeah, so it's, it's come along. Uh, what's the, the mission mode? Is that just like character-specific progressions? Let's find out for sure. Okay. But, but yes. Okay. Probably. That's typically what it is. Yeah. But I have not seen it in this game, so... Hmm. We should check. Yes. Okay. Specific to each character, so... Yeah, so you're, you know, you just get your, your training stuff. It's kind of like we could, getting, getting to know you for each individual character. If we train with uh, Phoenix Wright, we'll get a better sense of uh, what's going on. Oh, yeah, let's do that. I'd love to see that. I'd love to just understand what this character is about in this game. And I, I, I he's, love he's their... About, he's about the law. I okay. love their willingness... I love their willingness to add on these weird character specific subsystems like this yeah steel samurai maya smelting i don't know, I don't know what that is so i wish it, it should tell you how to do that and that's the thing that the capcom's fighting games have not done is easily tell you what the hell that is 
So now I gotta go in here, command list. And it's just his uh, his suit brother. Should've guessed. I've got a bad feeling. Clear. Just a slip. M -m -m Maximum. Slip up. All right, that's slip up. Clear. Maximum. All right, so there's that, but what is questioning? Oh, okay, here, we can actually get a good list here. So, it just, it'd be nice if it showed it right on that screen. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Okay. M, H, forward and H, and then super. No. All right, so what does that even look like? And then it just starts getting crazy. MMHS. All right. I'm going to do it faster. Oh. What is that? That's MMHS. Faster, probably. We gotta do the crouching stuff first. No, I know. I'm just uh, getting this part down. The timing down for this part, yeah. yeah. Missing a move in there. Let's see what else he's got here. See when, now that we've just got time to. I actually can't change modes. modes. Does that hit? Does his sneeze hit? No. It does. It's a pop-up, in fact. Oh, it's just. Oh, it's just when you can't do it. It's just his. That's his S. His uh. sneeze. That's silly. This heavy attack is just. Him losing it and itching his Going, head. Ah, ah, lice. That's his throw. And then, you know, projectiles. Anyway, yeah. That's Phoenix Wright. All right. That's the, the mission mode. Yeah. And I, I think that's about it, man. All right. Well, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is coming to the PS3 and 360 uh, in a couple of weeks. Yeah. I want to say it's the 15th. Everything is else it, is, is. Why not? Yeah. That would make sense. Yeah. Put it out when everything else is coming out. Right. So uh, if you don't like any other kind of game. If you only buy fighting games, there will be a fighting <laughs> game coming out as well. There so, will. And it yeah. will be Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Jeff, thanks for uh, giving us a look at it Yeah, today. dude.